Lights, camera, action. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're viewing from, this is Laura Thompson, your friendly, fabulous, feisty, fierce, and phenomenal CEO and creator of TAN TV, the African American Network, where we have a local feel with the global reach. And you're tuned into the coffee break, and guess who just walked in? I thought I was finished with my break. You know, I'm going to get in trouble because this is my third break. But Miss Ginger Gold walked in to grace her presence and grace the presence of this studio. Uh, and so we're super excited to have you on this morning, Miss Ginger Gold. How you doing? It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me today. Oh, no problem. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a filming without you. <laughs> <laughs> so... So before we get started with the interview, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, why you do it, and all of that good stuff? Well, my name is Ginger Gold. I am a local esthetician right here in the state of Texas. I show up to help women guide them to gorgeous. And so primarily right now, my focus is makeup. That's how I help women empower themselves to enhance their features for all types of events and branding and photo shoots and weddings and mm -hmm. Our last event we just did with Black Business Week, so we did. That's what I do. I show up to make you absolutely beautiful all throughout South Texas. Wow, that's awesome. So so it's a funny story. So so Ginger, we were at an <laughs> event. We were at the, the ribbon-cutting ceremony for Black Business Week. And so Ginger had this camera, and she kept taking pictures of herself. She had, a, she had her, her stand, her tripod, and had it all set up. And she would time it and then take pictures. And I was like, what a ham. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I said, I'm going to go out there because I'm a ham too anyway. So she invited me to take a couple of pictures with her, right? Absolutely. And so, you know, we had fun. We posted the pictures. And then the next night, the next day. Right, right. Um, we did it again. <laughs> and, you know, we took a lot more pics. And then I found out that she was an absolutely awesome photographer, although that's not what she does, although that's a part of, of what she does, because when she does before and after, she's got to be able to right. take pictures. Right. So I was saying, oh my, oh, my God, she's really, really good. I can't really take pictures like that. And she said, how are you in media? <laughs> <laughs> that was the question, right? But first, run it back to the part where we're taking, um, I'm taking pictures with everyone, right? All these beautiful women are walking through. I'm like, let's get content. Let's get photos. And we take how many photos before I realize who you are and what you do? So it's like you never know who you're speaking to, who you're taking photos with. So that was just an amazing experience all in itself. Wow, so it's awesome. Then, then you know, the, the next day, um, or, well, a couple of days after that, there was a women's brunch. And so uh, Ginger had an opportunity to, to speak and talk about beauty. So talk about a little bit about, you know, what you talked about at the uh, brunch. At the Sunday brunch? Yes. Oh, yes. man. So the Sunday brunch this past Sunday for Black Business Week was phenomenal. Um, so I was in charge of speaking about basically beauty tips. And most of the time, people think I'm only going to talk about makeup or skincare and what it's really about is the mindset of beauty because I can apply all of these different products to you but at the end of the day if you don't feel like you're beautiful if you're only focusing on your flaws then it doesn't matter what type of makeup technique I do to you even at the end you're going to be like you're not going to like something about yourself so I spend a lot of time focusing primarily on skincare because a lot of women are like hey I don't wear makeup and I'm like yeah great but are you doing skincare you know right. so we talked a lot about your basics from just cleansing your skin to hydrating and then all the other extra things that you can do in between when we talk about targeting your major skin concerns and how do we get from here to there with results driven you know systems right and so 
Um, I explained a lot about your skincare, explained how if you are a woman in business that, you know, you have to show up for your brand and you can put on your hair, your clothes, your shoes, your bags. But at the end of the day, when we talk about putting your best foot forward, that includes your face, because this is what I'm going to use to connect with someone like you. You're going to remember my face. So why not make it beautiful? And so just the little things, like evening out your complexion with a foundation, put it on a pop of color on your lips, you know, so you're focusing so much on everything else. Let's put the best face forward, right? And let's incorporate all of your healthy living lifestyles in between that. So it's not necessarily about just applying makeup. It's about eating right. It's about drinking your water. It's about having systems and routines in place that not only help build your business, but build your, you know, your overall look for your brand from here to there forevermore, right? Wow. So see, she's making me think of all the things that <laughs> I need to do that I am not doing, but that I want to to make sure that uh, I take into consideration. Right. Uh, when I'm trying to step out and look beautiful, you know, I, I I feel beautiful inside. Right. Right. So that's the first step. That's the first step. That is truly the first step. But I've got to to get with Ginger Gold so she can make me more. And the first thing I'm going to ask a woman before I even touch her is, hey. What's your major skin concern? What is it when I show you a mirror that you don't like about yourself? And what would that answer be for you? Well, <clears throat> just one thing. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm gonna say one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what kind of uh, uh, cleansing, or what, what, what type of cleansing would I need for my skin? Because oh. it's, a, it's a major, I try different stuff and I don't really know what the results are supposed to be, but I don't really have a skincare routine. Also, we are so going to sit down and go through that. We have got to get you a routine. You're in all of these beautiful bright lights all the time. So having a cleanser formulated for your skin type to remove all the oil, dirt, debris from your skin, and then replenishing that moisture with or without makeup is going to be crucial for you as you continue to go forward in your media career. So we will definitely get you a routine and some formulated products just for you and I'm all ears and I will listen <laughs> so um so how long have you been in this business and why did you decide to go into the, the beauty business oh so that's a funny story and I'll I'll make it short for you um I am a graduate of North Carolina A&T State University where I majored in industrial and systems engineering becoming the first HBCU hire for L'Oreal Cosmetics. Wow. Um, and so I got to see all of these things manufactured on a very large volume, right? But back then, I was I was really a nerd, so I didn't understand um, the actual products that I was making. I just knew that it had to be colored, the right color, the right quality, the right components, the right, you know, because I worked in more so the logistics part of it. So I didn't understand a lot of why we did things. So um, long story short um 08 got laid off I said I don't want to leave this 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 industry so what mm -hmm. else can I learn about it right so I know how to manufacture it I'm, I see how it's formulated let's go into retail and see why and how it's sold why am I packaging things this way why is this product always flying off the shelf and we're always out of stock right so I became Estee Lauder's, their biggest competitor, L'Oreal, Estee Lauder, <laughs> right? Uh, I became their regional first spa specialist for South Texas. I am currently their regional makeup artist. But with doing that, I learned everything about retail, merchandising. I became an esthetician, so I learned how to use the products. So when you talk about understanding the beauty world from start to finish, I, that is is what has been my journey and I did not plan it that way. It just mm -hmm. simply happened that. It happened to be that. So now 360 degrees, now I'm gonna launch my own product. Wow, that's awesome. Right, so now I know how to retail it, merchandise it, package it, market it. I know exactly how you need to use it, how to sell it. And so wow. it's a powerhouse movement over here. Wow, so so L'Oreal and Estee Lauder were your, was your assignment right. to learn. Yes. Right, right. And wow. it was the best learning opportunity regardless of what the pay was. And sometimes you have to put yourself into a position so that you can learn, so that you can set yourself up for a beautiful future. Wow. 
Oh, this has been a great, great, great informative conversation. Oh, wonderful, wow. wonderful. You know, she said that she didn't know about me and the things that I did. I didn't know that she was an engineer. <laughs> I didn't know that she worked for a major company, L'Oreal or Essie Lauder. Yes. You know, I just thought she was cute taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you never know who you're speaking to. Someone's always watching. So show up beautifully for every moment. Wow. So you've been tuned into TAN TV, the African American Network, where we have a local feel with the global region. We've been here with the phenomenal, fabulous, feisty, fierce, and friendly Ginger Gold. Thank you for having hey. me. All right. You're welcome. Thanks. Mm-hmm.